This is a store tour of the Chuck E. Cheese in Chino, California. They just got 2.0 very recently. And this is the strangest looking remodel that I have ever seen because this location used to have the games over here, and now this is where the dance floor is. The games are over there where the old stage used to be, so it looks like they just flipped everything around. They flipped the stage and the games around completely, so it's very interesting. So this entire room used to be where all the games are, and there's still a few down there, but it's all like the, the rides and stuff, but this room was where all like the ticket games were. So now it's the stage, or I should say the dance floor and the projector screen, but Overall, it is a pretty standard uh, remodel. Obviously, they have everything on the walls and the projector screen at this location. But overall, it's pretty terrible, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it is what it is. And there are a lot of stores in 2023 that are remodeling. And there is the dance floor over there. But there are a lot of people here. So can't really show it. But yeah, this is the old area where all the games used to be. So. Now we are going to take a look at where the stage used to be and all the games. So down here, they still have a few games, but this is like all the same stuff, but it looks like they have a bunch of rides. So there's like merry-go-round ride, there's a Chuck E. Cheese photo ride, and over here is the high five game, Cheeky Monkey, and there is Duo Drive and a Dog Pounder. Here is the Chuck E. Cheese uh, Hammer 2 game, and here is a bus ride. Here's the Chuck E. Cheese sketchbook. And over here is Bug Cruncher. Very interesting game. And here's the Whack'em Funky Gators. And here's a pretty cool one. It's a SpongeBob Super Striker. It's very small. And you win the super bonus for 25 goals. So it's literally soccer stars, but it, you hit buttons instead. And over here is a Hammer Froggy, a Jet Rider. And here's another uh, ride. And over here is the prize area. So they have a, a few cool prizes here. It's rather small, in my opinion. Uh, down there is all of the prizes, the smaller stuff, and it's the same on the other side. So that's pretty cool. And all the other, you know, stuff that you can buy and all the plush and all the other stuff like that. And here's the front counter. So again, it's all updated. Here's the new salad bar and the new drink station, but it's all in a remodel. And this is where all the games are now. So they had a few over here before, but the stage used to be back there. So we're gonna take a look at everything that they have. So here's the kiosks, and here is Hat Trick, here is Pink Panther, Jewel Heist, and here is a tightrope. I'm pretty sure this is new. It's 100 tickets. Here's a ball claw, but it only has uh, one prize in it. That's pretty funny. Or actually has uh, two. That's pretty funny though. It's gonna be very hard to win. And over here is a brand new game, Space Warp 66. This is a very, very fun game. I'm glad they have this. And it's 100, which is pretty good. So it's very simple. Cross all the rings, win the jackpot. It's a very, very addicting game, so I, I really like to play it. Here's a Barrel of Monkeys, and it's 10 for the jackpot. That is horrible. Here is Spider-Bot, uh, Sonic Blast Ball, Crossbow Master, Eiffel Tower, uh, Launch Code, uh, Baseball Pro Challenge. I'm pretty sure this is new, too. This is a smaller version of Baseball Pro. And over here is Flying Tickets. I remember I played this in a video with uh, Arcade Wizard, so this used to be here. And the bonus is 100, which is pretty good. And over here is another game, Rock and Rollin' for Gold. I This looks new, but not a lot of locations have this. I've only seen Garden Grove with this. It's a very um, interesting type game. And here is the Chuck E. Cheese photo booth. And over here is Street Hoops. And here is something brand new, Drop It, Drop It. This is very, very rare for a Chuck E. Cheese and they just got this and those are all the values. Very, very fun game. It's only 1.2. And it's funny because the green holes and stuff are harder to get. Like those color holes are harder to get, but when you lose, you get more tickets. You get five tickets. So you can literally get more tickets than the actual like things that you landed in. I don't know why they have it set like that, but oh well. And here is Hollywood Reels, another token game with two sides. Very, very awesome game. Here's the Chuck E. Cheese Water Blast and two of the older Chuck E. Cheese All-Star Hoops, also known as NBA Hoops, but these are the older ones. They have a Down the Clown here, which is pretty cool too. And check this out, they have a Halo. This is a two-player one, but this is also brand new. Still very awesome, they have that as well. They also have a Gear It Up and I don't know if that's win 100 points or tickets. I'm pretty sure it's like some weird uh, 
like ticket amount. I don't think you actually win 100 points or tickets. Here is six of the alley rollers, and the jackpot's 200. That's one of the best alley roller jackpots I've ever seen. And here, they've had this before, there's Zombie Snatcher, but they've also had this. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the stage used to be right about here. So you can obviously tell that this used to be a little showroom from those walls. And I'm pretty sure it was right around here somewhere. Don't know exactly where, but I remember it being somewhere near this wall. So you can kind of tell, but they pretty much gutted the entire thing, unfortunately. But here are some more games. There's two minute drill, a milk chug toss, mad wave motion theater, a pop it for gold, a fruit ninja, chameleon paradise, the big wind super spin, wonderland, all about timing, a uh, red hot. Here's something brand new, it's dicey jump. Very, very hard game. And over here is tip and blocks and the jackpot is a whopping 10 tickets. Here is the SpongeBob game. And here is Smoke and Token Extreme. Over here is the Roll for Gold 2. Here is Treasure Quest, uh, Jam Session, a uh, Goal Line Rush. And over here is Spitter Frenzy, which is also pretty new. And the jackpot says 200, but it's 100 up there. That's kind of interesting. There are two Cruising Blasts. And over here, there are two of the Moto GPs. There's a Wacky Win for 125. And here is the H2 Overdrive, uh, Big Bass Wheel Pro, Robin Hood for 250. And this game is very hard, so that's why the jackpot is super high. And here's a rare game, Intermission, which, uh, another token game. And there is Terminator Salvation, a Dead Storm Pirates. And last but not least, there is this uh, car race game. The jackpot is a very nice 69 ticket jackpot. So that is basically it. This is the Chuck E. Cheese in Chino, California, featuring Arcade Wizard. He also filmed the tour as well, so make sure you guys go subscribe to Arcade Wizard. And like I said, this is where the stage used to be. I'm almost 100% sure it was somewhere around here. So it's crazy to think that they moved everything around like that. I've never seen a remodel that actually replaced the entire area where the stage used to be. It's usually replaces the area they don't never move it over to like a completely different area super super interesting to remodel again this is the chuck e cheese in chino california a lot of games here a lot of really rare games but this is the brand new 2.0 remodel here at chuck e cheese chino thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one